What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at another viewer's car. This is Edgar's Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 and it is a freaking beast. I'm super happy that Edgar took this car to us because it's quite rare actually in Europe and that's a shame because it's a really good package and well, I can't wait to drive it. So I'm going to show you around it today and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn Blast. This car is actually for sale now. So uh, Edgar asked us to let you guys know that this car is for sale. So if you're interested, you can send an email to the address on the screen now or you can find it in the description or the top comment as well. Uh, please only contact him if you're serious, of course. But I mean, this is a very cool car. So I'm going to show you how cool. Now, uh, this is a ZL1. You could also get a 1LE package on that car as an option, which is like a track focused package, uh, but it's not legal in Europe because of the way too aggressive and pronounced front splitters. And it has a massive rear wing. You get semi-slick tires as well, completely set up for track. But you do have a lot more drag, of course, because of that aggressive arrow. So this is the regular ZL1. And uh, well, it's still very aggressive. That front end with that gaping mouth, 11 heat exchangers are housed in and around this car uh, to keep that engine cool. We'll take a look at the engine later, but a very cool and aggressive setup at the front end. Massive air intakes on both sides. Cool splitter as well, very nice hood with the ZL1 badge on there. And we've got these 20 inch wheels with Goodyear Eagle F1 tires uh, and some Brembo brakes. Now this car borrows quite a few things from the Corvette Z06. Uh, so the engine, the active dampers, the active differential, but this car actually has bigger brakes than the Corvette. Uh, it also uses the traction management system from the Corvette, by the way, but it's a very, Actually, how wide are these? These are, these are 305 section tires rear wheel. So that's quite wide. And uh, the engine is also from the Corvette and we've got a beautiful quad tailpipe exhaust setup, which is super, super loud. It's really, really nice. Okay, uh, we'll take a look. Uh, there it is. So, ooh, that's quite hot. There we go. So, we've got... So, we've got the 6.2 liter V8 supercharged LT4 codename uh, from the Corvette Z06. And it's got 659 horsepower and 880 newton meters of torque, which is absolutely insane. That's a lot of horsepower. Now, this engine, as I said, it's from the Corvette Z06. I mean, it is a really nice engine. It's, it looks cool as well. It's quite big. It is a small block V8, but it's quite a big block, if you know what I mean. So the Corvette Z06 coped with some heat problems. Uh, that engine would overheat quite quickly, uh, but apparently they fixed that with this car. So we're going to see if that worked. Let's take a look inside. And uh, well, I have to say that I, I didn't really know what to expect of the interior of this car, but I have to say that I quite like it. It's, it's very clean. We've got this big dash with Alcantara on it. We've got this screen here, touch screen, Alcantara on the steering wheel, beautiful Recaro seats, really good seats actually. You sit nice and low, some Alcantara on there, some leather. I mean, it is a very nice place to be. And I have to say, visibility is really bad in this car. Um, but you have cameras and stuff like that. Uh, you even have... So let's start it up. Oh, we have to press this. There we go. Uh, we even have a mirror Edgar told me if you flip this up you get a camera so that's the rear view camera feed giving you info through the screen so that's quite cool actually but we're going to use the normal one 
and uh, other than that we've got a big speedo we've got a US speedo here but you can see that Martijn switched it to kilometers an hour for the Autobahn PUV uh, but it only goes to 200 so the needle will run out of speedo quite quickly which is pretty cool I mean this car the Camaro the build quality is like really good it's much better than the previous one all right so we are going to toggle between the modes oh it's there <laughs> i was looking at the wrong screen so we've got tour sport track snow and ice well we're going to go for track because you get the best exhaust sound as well apparently and we know that Camaros sound really good. We've actually driven a, an older Camaro SS with a V8, which sounded really good. Just a ridiculous sound. Okay. So manual. Ooh, that's very nice. I. It's a very nice sound, that supercharger combined with the V8. So we've got a 10 speed automatic gearbox which they developed together with Ford. Oh! Oh, listen to that! Holy moly! Okay, we're going to go for drive for the Autobahn part. Oh! But listen to that! Gearbox is actually much better than the one in the F-150 Raptor where it first appeared. This is much, much better. Oh, Edgar, what a car you've bought. And now you can own it too. I mean, honestly, this is a very, very cool car to own, guys. If you're interested, go check it out. Okay, let's hope that we get some space. It's a bit busy. It's a Sunday, but still quite busy. Oh! Jeez. Jeez Louise! I love American muscle, man. Every time I drive one of these V8 muscle cars, they just have something so special that, that sets them apart, you know? So let's see if we get a bit of space, what we can do. Zero to 60 miles an hour in this car is supposed to be done in three and a half seconds. That's 280 something. Oh, those brakes are very good. Pedal feel is awesome. And performance is really good too. Stable, we do have a bit of wind. That's 305. 
life. Uh, we'd have some traffic here, don't really want to overtake too many people sitting behind each other, but man, what a car. Oh, it freaking holds ass, this, this thing. Okay, so let's go to manual mode and we'll turn around. So this is supposed to compete with like a Dodge Challenger Hellcat or a Mustang uh, GT350 or GT500 or what else do we have? Well, those cars, V8 muscle cars and then the most aggressive, most powerful versions of those muscle cars. And these cars have gotten so freaking good. Let's take this little road. Where's traction control? Do we have like a sport setting? Traction control off, on, no. Okay, we'll turn it off for a sec. See how much traction we've got because we've got... Oh! <laughs> what? How does it grip that well in first gear? Oh! <laughs> and those shifts are so quick and the, because you've got that 10 speed it, it feels like <laughs> it's endless oh and the feel you get through the steering wheel i mean in track mode the steering is quite heavy But it feels really connected and the chassis feels freaking awesome. Whoo, this is a really good car. It, it's actually, it's, it's quite a bit better than I was expecting, to be honest. What do we have here? Oh, we've got a little, yeah, we're, we're at a different spot, as you've seen probably, uh, than we usually are, so I have to like, Improvise a bit. Oh. So, these cars, I mean, the, the Shelby GT350, the GT500, the this ZL1 and the 1LE, you know, even more, these cars have gotten so good and so much better compared to just a few years ago. I mean, they have really nailed this now. I mean, the Hellcat is a different story because that's just about straights, doesn't really like to corner. But these cars are seriously impressive. And they, they are not, uh, you know, in any way less than the European cars anymore. I honestly feel that way. I think in some ways they are better and in some ways the European cars are better, but it's so cool to have these completely different approaches to what a sports car is. With that massive V8, with that supercharger, I mean, that's just stuff we can't really do anymore here. I mean, especially in the Netherlands, this car is $65,000 in the US, starts at 65 grand. Um, if you get this car in Holland, if you get this car to the Netherlands, you have to pay a lot of taxes um, and you end up with 175,000 euros for this car. So 65k to 175, that's how crazy people here have become. That's how much they hate us, basically, us car lovers and cars in general. I mean, uh, why wouldn't you want more of this in your country, right? Your country is just better off if you have more of this stuff. I, I honestly feel that way because everyone is happier if you have more of this stuff. And I do feel like they're becoming more and more popular uh, in Europe as well because they're getting better and better and they are becoming real valid options, alternatives to European sports cars. And honestly, I mean, sound-wise, 
there's there, there's not much that can compete with this i mean this is a 2019 car so i think we do have opf cars from 2019 already in europe but if you compare this to a bmw m5 or something like that yeah this sounds way better much 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 better this is just uh, on a different level so let's see if we can get a little sound from this this stuff here <laughs> oh yes yes please it sounds so raw and racy We want to do like a request to you guys if you have these these US cars in, in the Netherlands or in Germany and you want to come to us or in Belgium and you want to come to us at our regular spot or here this is more to the north of the Netherlands um, I mean please contact us at the address below because I want to do more muscle cars this is just so much fun I absolutely love them and if you have tuned ones even better you know with a different exhaust or a Mustang GT with a supercharger or something like that contact us in the address below so 100 to 200 kilometers an hour of course we also did our performance measurements and it performed really well 6.94 seconds 100 to 200 which is very impressive that's faster than a BMW M8 competition it's also half a second faster than a Dodge Challenger Hellcat it is a bit slower than a GT500 which did 6.22 but of course that car has 760 horsepower this has 659 oh so it performs really well it handles really well it feels very solid actually the, the stuff in here build quality feels good so yeah I am a big fan and I want to thank Edgar for bringing his car to us, for trusting us with his car. It is for sale, as I said, so if you're interested, contact Edgar. And I hope that one of you will buy this, because it would be awesome to keep this car in our community of petrol heads. I am going to end it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. See you at the next one. Bye.